what I'm going to do is on the rest of this page, I'm just going to go ahead and use a lot of this text. Just repeat the text. It's all right that you repeat the text with these local sites. It really is. Um, I have sites that are ranked on the first page that literally have gibberish. So what you want to do is you want to do this for all four of your pages. Okay, Do this for all four of your pages. And really, it's basic HTML stuff, basic SEO. Like, Just make sure you use those H1 tags. Make sure you use alt image tags. Okay, Make sure you use proper titles, keywords, and descriptions. I'll show you those right now. Um, if we look at the code up at the top, okay, you have, they're called metaname descriptions, okay. What we want to do is we want to change this. This right here is for the Fort Lauderdale mover. But what we want to say is, you know, Bridgeport car repair. Repair. Call us first if you need car repair in Bridgeport. You understand? We just want to go ahead and make sure that we have our keywords up there. You really, it's not complicated, not complicated at all. We just want to put our keyword right at the front, call us first, or call us if you need, or stop on by, or visit our website, anything like that. But we want to just go ahead and switch up the keywords here. So the first thing we're going to say is Bridgeport Car Repair, okay? And then we're going to repeat it and say car repair in Bridgeport. Okay? Does that make sense? If not, please just, just send in your questions. Okay? And for these keywords, what we want to use is we want to use our keyword, Bridgeport Car Repair. Car Repair in Bridgeport. Etc. What we want, we only want to be concentrating on our main keywords here, which is Bridgeport Car Repair, Car Repair in Bridgeport, okay? And then finally, we're going to name this site, okay? And we're going to name this site Bridgeport Car Repair, okay? I keep, I don't know why I'm not capitalizing that R. You don't even need to capitalize it, but... I just always do because when I capitalize that first letter, it's easier to read. High quality car repair. Okay. And that's basically it. We have our keywords with our with our I'm sorry, we have our title that has our keyword, okay? Then a little bit more content with the reverse of our keyword. So instead of Bridgeport Car Repair, the end of it is going to be Car Repair in Bridgeport, okay? Our keywords, we're going to have about five to ten different keywords all based around Bridgeport car repair, car repair in Bridgeport. I'll even use auto repair in an instance like this because a lot of times you'll still be able to get it, but mainly focus on that Bridgeport car repair, car repair in Bridgeport, the best car repair in Bridgeport, things like that. And then for the description, we're going to have Bridgeport car repair. Call us first if you need car repair in Bridgeport, or stop on by for car repair in Bridgeport, something along those lines. And once we've done that, we're going to save that, okay? And we're going to basically do that with the same exact keywords for all four pages, okay? So we're going to stop this video here, and in the next video, oh, actually, let me go on with this just a little bit more. So we've basically, we've done some very basic on-page SEO. We've got our keywords. We've got each one in all image tags. We've got proper titles, keywords, and descriptions. And then the next thing you want to do is create a sitemap and submit. Actually, we're going to move this down a little bit further.
We'll submit that down. We're gonna move. We're gonna move this down here. Okay. Okay. So now, what I want to do is once you got your site all set up, and like I said, if you can't do it, please remember everything here can be outsourced very easily. And later, at the end of all the training, I'll show you how even we can help you outsource it. So. So don't worry about getting it accomplished, getting the site built yourself if you can't do it. What I mainly want to do is show you the process by which it gets done. Like you need, If you're going to hire an outsourcer, you need to know that you need to be able to tell them that, okay, I want, my, I want four pages, the site structure, this is what I want on each page. I want to make sure you have the keyword a couple of times, have the keyword and head the H1 tags. Make sure you use my keywords for all image tags. Most any outsourcer that you hire is going to know how to do that. So after you've done that, after you've set up your site on your local computer, okay, you've edited your files, you're going to go ahead and upload it via FTP. And basically what FTP is, it stands for File Transfer Protocol. I believe that's what it stands for. But basically what it does is it allows you to transfer the the sites and the files that are on your computer to your hosting account. So let me show you in my sample template, okay? What I'm gonna do is, once I've finished all these, okay, once I've finished these pages, I'm gonna load up my FileZilla, my FTP program, and I'm gonna go ahead and upload all the files. So. If you don't have a FileZilla program and you're going to be doing this work yourself, I recommend you go to FileZilla-project.org and go ahead and download FileZilla. It's a free service or it's a free software program and there's plenty of directions and help available. So go ahead and get yourself FileZilla and then what you want to do is you basically you want to upload all of your files that are in this folder up onto your web server. and I can't, I can't go into how to use FileZilla and use an FTP program. Both HostGator, if you get yourself HostGator hosting, and FileZilla, they have plenty of directions available that are much better than I could ever do. They have screenshots, they have videos, step-by-step -step instructions. So definitely use that for a file transfer program. And finally, now you're going to have your site. Your site's going to be all uploaded. It's going to be all set up. And now what you need to do is you need to start getting some backlinks. Okay. And I honestly, I don't do much backlinking other than submitting off to Craigslist and YouTube usually. Okay. Maybe I'll submit a press release about the news website. But I mainly go to Craigslist and YouTube to get my backlinks. And what I do at Craigslist, Craigslist is really easy. Um, I'm going to go to Connecticut because that's where this site is going to be. Or actually, they're giving me because of where Connecticut is. But what you'll do is you'll go into the area of Craigslist that you're located, okay, and go into the services section and see if there's a services. Like, they have a category for automotive services. So what you want to do is you want to go in there and make a post, okay? Make a post announcing your new website and advertise it just like you're a local business. You're announcing your website service. So we'd go into automotive services or you go into whatever services that you need. And you can see they want you to have a Craigslist account. So just go ahead sign up for a Craigslist account. We're not going to be spamming or doing anything wrong here. Um, just sign up for a Craigslist account and then you're going to just post a very basic ad for your new service, okay, for your new website. And like I said, you're going to post it like you are a business. So in this case, I'd make a post like I'm a, a car repair shop down in Bridgeport, okay? Make sure that you have the title, make sure that it's your keyword and your location. And then in the ad body, make sure that you link back to your website. And like I said, make sure it's like you're an actual business, okay? Very simple. 
absolutely simple. Let me show you a few samples of people doing it themselves. Like if you go into the Craigslist, there are all these different ads. So you're going to have an ad that would be right here. If you were in automotive, and it would say, it would simply say, Bridgeport Car Repair. And then when you clicked on that, you would just have a tiny little ad that would say, you know, Bridgeport Car Repair just opened. If you're looking for the best in Bridgeport Car Repair, visit my website, BridgeportCarRepair.com. That's it. Simple, easy peasy. You don't need to get any more complicated than that. We're not really writing a true advertisement. We're just using this for the backlinks. And then the fine, or not the final way, but another way that I like to get backlinks is through YouTube. And what I do is I create a very simple slideshow. Once again, we're not really making this video to be fancy or anything like that. We just want a backlink. And what we'll do is we'll create a very simple slideshow or a screen capture video of your website. Okay. You can use Windows Movie Maker or Camtasia or even Jing Pro. I love using Jing Pro. And basically with Jing Pro, okay, I'm actually going to go pro right now on this account. But what you can do with Jing Pro is you make a simple screen capture video. Like I'll, I'll make up a, a quick fake one here. Um, this would be, I would load up Jing and I would say, Jing is really neat. Jing is this software that allows you to do screen capture. It's made by the same people as Camtasia, but it's a lot less money. So then I'm going to say I want to record. We're actually going to be recording a video inside of a video. So I'd say something like, welcome to Fort Lauderdale Mover. And I go down, Fort Lauderdale Mover is a, a moving company located in the Fort Lauderdale area. If you're looking for a mover in Fort Lauderdale, I recommend you come down and check out fortlauderdalemover.com. Or give us a call at FortLauderdaleMover.com. I'm basically just putting a little bit of gibberish, and then you can stop. Jing is really cool. This isn't the pro version, but they have a button where you can just upload and share it during, um, share it through YouTube, which is really cool. I'm gonna upload a screen capture video or rather a slideshow video just to show you how it's done. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and upload that movie that we made. And we'll just go right over to YouTube, okay? You're gonna go to YouTube. If you don't have an account already, just create an account. You can just hook it to your Gmail account. But you'll see this button that says Upload. Okay, you're gonna click that. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna over here you're going to select the video, so you're going to select the video that you've just created. I already, I just uploaded mine. And what we want to title it is we want to simply title it Keyword City or City Keyword. That's exactly what I've done here, Fitchburg Contractor. Then for the description, we're going to have the very first word of this description is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash your domain, which should be keyword city or C word kit or city keyword. Okay. Then you're going to put your, your keyword in that description a few more times, like I've done here. Fitchburg contractor is an experienced contractor in the Fitchburg area. If you need a contractor in Fitchburg, visit our website or give us a call. For my tags, I simply have our main keyword. And usually I'll just put in the city and maybe the state. For a category, I'm going to put it to how to and style. And then you're going to just click on the save button. It's going to save it. So now, once this site goes, once this video goes live, you're now going to have a link coming from YouTube, which Google loves, Google owns, pointing back to your site. And that, that truthfully, that's about all you have to do with the Craigslist and YouTube. Okay, you can also do some press releases. I honestly, I don't do much backlinking. If you do Craigslist and YouTube, it's generally enough. But if you do, if you do know how to do backlinking from other sites, go ahead, build some other site, build some other backlinks back. But I nine times out of 10 just do the Craigslist and YouTube.